roots of the year? Is it the smell of the wet earth? Or all the yummy snacks that go with a rainy day? And after a few months of rain, do you look forward to drinking hot beverages and wearing woolen sweaters? All of these changes in our lives happen due to the changes in the seasons every few months. So, let's learn a bit more about seasons and their transitions by the way the winds blow in our country. In the month of June, as soon as the southern branch of the subtropical westerly jet stream withdraws from the Indian subcontinent, monsoon winds start blowing towards the Indian subcontinent. This marks the beginning of the monsoon season. It is called the advancing monsoon or the rainy season. Around its arrival, normal rainfall increases suddenly and continues for several days. This sudden onset of moisture-laden winds associated with violent thunder and lightning is often termed the burst of the monsoon. Generally, by the first week of June, monsoon arrives at the southern tip of the Indian Peninsula. So, the southern part of India, especially the coastal states, receive rainfall during the first week of June. The Malabar coast in the state of Kerala receives rainfall during this time. Once it reaches the southern part of the peninsula, it bifurcates into the Arabian Sea branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. Let's first deal with the Bay of Bengal branch. I have a question for you before that. Have you ever heard of a place called Mohsin Ram? Well, Mohsin Ram is a place that receives the highest average rainfall in the world. This place is located in Meghalaya. It receives the majority of its rainfall from the Bay of Bengal branch of the Indian monsoon. Now, let's deal with this Bay of Bengal branch. The Bay of Bengal branch strikes the coast of Myanmar and parts of Southeast Bangladesh. But a big portion of it gets deflected by the Aragan Hills of Myanmar towards the Indian subcontinent. It enters West Bengal and Bangladesh from the south and the southeast. From here, this branch splits into two. One branch moves westward and covers a part of the Ganga Plains and the Punjab Plains. The other branch causes rainfall in the Brahmaputra Valley. It is from this branch that Mohsin Ram receives its rainfall. There is a general trend observed in the pattern of rainfall. As the monsoon winds progress, they lose moisture. The Bay of Bengal branch carries more moisture in the northeastern states, causing heavy rainfall there. As it moves west, it loses moisture, resulting in decreased rainfall in the west. That was quite informative and interesting, wasn't it? Now let's see the journey of the Arabian Sea branch. The Arabian Sea branch splits into three branches. The first branch is obstructed by the western cards. The cards act as barriers to the rain-bearing clouds, causing rainfall on the windward side, whereas the eastern side of the western cards remains dry as it lies on the leeward side. The second branch strikes the coast north of Mumbai and flows through the Narmada and Tapi river valleys, resulting in extensive rainfall in areas in central India. Thereafter, they enter the Ganga plains and mingle with the Bay of Bengal branch. The third Arabian Sea branch strikes the Saurashtra Peninsula and Kutch. From there, it passes over western Rajasthan and along the Aravalis, causing only scanty rainfall. Moving forward via Punjab and Haryana, it too joins the Bay of Bengal branch. Wow! 
the two branches seem like long lost sisters who finally get to meet each other. <sighs> okay, till now we saw how the monsoon comes and how it causes rainfall all over the country. Looks like the monsoon does a lot of work and deserves a break. But they are a little different, not like your interval breaks. Break here means that rainfall doesn't happen continuously for months. There are few days when it doesn't rain. It has wet and dry spells. This means that the monsoon rains pour continuously for a few days and then there is a period of rainless days. Monsoon in India alternates between wet and dry spells. Now, why does this happen? This happens because of the movement of the ITCZ or the monsoon trough above the Ganga plains. When the monsoon trough is above the plains, the plains receive widespread rainfall and the Himalayas witness a dry spell. In a similar manner, when the monsoon trough is above the Himalayas, the mountain ranges receive plenty of rainfall while the plains have dry spells. So, depending on the movement of the monsoon trough, alternate wet and dry spells are experienced.